This video is to demonstrate how to do a vertical down weld. First of all, you need to make sure that the unit is powered on and ready. And you can see a previous video where we went over this on how to properly turn the unit on. First thing we will do is start a new program. And I go hit the drop down menu, hit select program. And here we are going to touch the new icon. This is where you give it a name. And I'm going to go vert weld. OK. You can enter in a comment at this point if you wish. OK. And now you'll see at the top of the screen it says vertical weld. And we are ready to begin. First thing we want to do is make sure that the unit is in manual mode. You can check that with the icon in the upper right corner. If you see the little tablet display with the finger that tells you we're in manual mode. We want to make sure that the reset down on our control box is enabled. And what that does is that allows us to free move the robot and if we get any errors, uh, sensor errors, things like that, it'll automatically reset. Just a time-saving feature. Okay, at this point, we will go to our arc tool commands. We will take the handle teach icon. We'll click on that and drag it up here to the program line. What that does is that enables us to use the two buttons up on the clever torch collar installed on the robot. At this point I will take the robot and bring it down to what I want to call a home position. And we will quickly tap on the teach button to teach this point and you can see that point shows up on our tablet screen. I'm now going to move it somewhat closer to what I call a perch point, which is roughly an inch off of the part we're welding. And here I'm trying to get the torch into the angle I want, and get things somewhat set up before we start our weld. I will do a simple teach. And now from here, we will move it into where we want our weld to start. That looks pretty good. Using the same teach button, I press and hold for about three seconds and then release. And on our screen you see that that gives us our weld start icon. From here, using the second button, the jog button, I'm going to press it and that toggles us between the different modes of movement. I've moved it to translation, which locks in all our axes and allows it to stay in that angle and gives us the ability to move in X, Y, and Z. I will now move the torch down where I want the weld to end. And you don't have to follow the line of the weld. I'm going to press and hold at this point for three seconds to teach our weld end. Okay, from here I will now toggle back to free mode using the jog button on the collar. Move the robot up and back, teach it a point, and then we'll move it back close to home and teach it a point. All of our program points are now taught, so what I'm going to do is on the tablet, I'm going to press on the teach icon and simply drag that off the screen because we're done teaching handle teaching has been completed press OK now I'm going to go to our weld start icon and in here this is where we enter in our weld procedure and weld schedule and for more information on this you can uh, reference previous videos where we go into greater depth explaining schedules and procedures. 
but for this exercise, I'm going to press weld procedure one, which is pulse. I'm going to do weld schedule one, which gives me the parameters I'm after. And like I said, once again, you can go back to a previous video where we go into greater detail on this. For our weld end, I will now press on the weld end icon. And we will do the same. Pulse for procedure. Schedule one. So we have our procedures and schedules entered. We're ready to give this a test run without arc. So I'm going to press reset on the tablet. I'm going to put it into auto on the tablet. I'm going to turn off our reset on the control box. I'm going to pull up the play option and make sure that our slider is at 100%. Otherwise, it could uh, stall out when you get to the weld start command. It's not at 100%. Everything looks good. Arc is off. And you can check that by pressing this icon at the top. Weld enable, weld disable. We are disabled. Our test run, cycle start. It's now going through the program, reaching our weld end, retracting out. The program is complete, and I do this to make sure all looks good. Now we are ready to weld. What we will do next is go to the tablet, we will do a weld enable. Uh, I'm going to put this accessory guard in place. And as with any welding job or any welding equipment, the operator needs to make sure that they have the proper PPE in place. And cycle start.